Hey guys, Rob, WB Cars. Um, today we're in an Arnage, but uh, not just any Arnage, kind of the ultimate car guy's Arnage. Um, this is David Scott, the astronaut's Bentley Arnage. Why is he the ultimate car guy? Um, yeah, he drove a buggy on the moon. Um, I, I've got nothing to beat that. Um, and clearly a connoisseur for fine automobiles. Uh, just a really great Arnage, um, been used and enjoyed, which is great. You know, too many of these things sit around and don't get any miles on them. And, you know, they just have issues after sitting and, you know, these can be kind of expensive to, to keep up on. And it's nice to see when they, when they've been used and enjoyed, um, this car, I like this color combo. It's like a, almost a kind of silverish, grayish, purplish, goldish. I mean, it's just a really nice color that changes a little bit depending on the light um, with a nice gray interior. Um, I like same kind of interior, exterior uh, color cars. I think they just look really nice. And um, this car, just really nice condition on the inside. Uh, not much to talk about as far as any flaws are concerned. There's a little rub mark here on the driver's side seat. Um, and just some little light creasing and crinkling um, on the outside bolster. Um, kind of to be expected of any car 40,000 miles. Um, everything inside works, which is great. Uh, it does have an aftermarket radio like most of these Arnages. I've never really understood why most of them do, but um, it has one. Uh, it sounds good. The radio sounds good. It's a, uh, an Alpine head unit uh, that's in the car. Um, all, the, all the features work in here. There's two separate knobs actually for the um, mirror controls. Um, you know, redundancy is nice, I guess, but um, all the windows work, seat functions work, heating and air conditioning work, AC gets nice and cold, power locks and sunroof and everything in here works. And it's just a very, very comfortable place to spend some time. Um, that's my camera. Um, yeah, what else? The, the, great, uh, the great wool uh, floor mats that I think are pretty synonymous with Bentley Rolls-Royce. And uh, we're taking it uh, for a little drive, just been photoing it, running it for, um, I don't know, it's probably been running for 30 minutes or something like that. Um, I'll show you the oil pressure and, and uh, temperature gauges there. Uh, go through maybe a couple other little things as we drive as usual. And um, yeah, an astronauts Bentley, who drove a buggy on the moon. I mean, how cool is that? I want to ask him like a million questions, but I don't want to be that guy. But man, I got a million questions. Anyway, so um, let's take it for a ride. All right, so uh, first things first is key zone over here. And then uh, your engine start button is actually right here. So there is temperature. Oil pressure. So the only light we've got is just the uh, seatbelt light. Didn't put that on yet. I'll shut that off now. Now let me do this too, so you can see. Let's see all the functions and so forth. Come on here. There you go. Behind here is another. Uh, control panel for the the HVAC ashtray radio and the rest of this is all just controls and so forth and the seats are down here let me turn down the AC so maybe you can hear that a little better So I was just trying to get my GoPros working and apparently they are putting up a fight as per usual. So we'll just do it on the phone. And you get this other readout up here. To get this out of my face.
little squeak you just heard was my my body. I was gonna say a different word, but um, that was me. Oh, this is good. I'll go over the speed bump so you can hear that. This thing just effortly picks up speed. Effort, effortly? Let's try that again. This thing just effortlessly, more railroad tracks. Oh, lovely. Uh, picks up speed. It just has so much torque. And you know, it weighs as much as a medieval castle, but it's it's got plenty of power. See if we can have a little space here. Alright. Yeah. Plenty of power. It's not um it's not an overwhelming sense of power, but it's um the car just kind of moves where you want it to move and goes where you want it to go. More railroad tracks. It is, uh, it's definitely enough torque to, uh, to keep you happy. Or as Bentley would usually say, it was adequate. Which it's uh, definitely more than adequate. All right, a little out of picture here, but that's okay. What a cool car. This seat's back of it looks like it's missing because I was gonna mount a camera there, but uh, yeah, what a cool car. Um, super comfortable, super quiet, plenty of torque, plenty of power, plenty of comfort. God, it's a lot of car for the money. Um, Jeez, yeah, I, I'd like to try and go through and find the faults, you know, with, with an Arnage in general. I, I mean, $300,000 car for, you know, a heck of a lot less. Um, yeah, I mean, they can be a little bit more expensive to, to upkeep, but at the same time, they're just cars. Um, you know, if you, uh, if you have the know-how to fix a Ford Escort, you can fix an Arnage. You can fix anything. Um, if you want to take it places, there's lots of places that are, are good for service and, you know, they, they know what they're doing, uh, especially in, in, uh, you know, some of the bigger cities, obviously. Um, this car, just great car across the board. A couple little things I'll go through as far as, you know, the, uh, the highs and the lows. Um, passenger door has a very slight, I don't even call it dent, but I guess you would have to call it a dent, a very slight dent in the, in the bottom uh, portion of the uh, of the driver or excuse me passenger side door ever so slight check out the pictures um i kind of really have to hit it at a certain angle for you to see it in photos if i shoot it pretty much at any other angle um you don't really see it the same kind of goes for real life um it's kind of hard to notice 
um, any of the dents on the, you know, with a dent on the side. There's also um, a, a very small crease. It's long, uh, but it's very, very slight um, on the passenger door as well. Um, I don't know what happened there prior. Um, I've tried to kind of find out. I'd imagine it was just a small rub against them, but there's no paint that came off or anything like that. Again, I have to shoot it like crazy shallow and you can kind of just see it. I'll mess with the photos a little bit, see if I can take some of the shadow out so maybe you can see it a little bit better. But again, it's just very, very certain light. Um, I assume that was probably the same thing. There's a couple little chips just on the, uh, the rear arch. Um, same thing, they were touched up though. Um, and, uh, the paint match was okay. You know, it, you can see them if you look, but they're pretty small, you know, uh, they're not too noticeable. Um, but the exterior in general is very nice. There's a small little chip, um, and a very slight inclusion on the, uh, the driver's side, uh, front fender just on the top and a couple just very, very slight dings throughout the, the car. You know, it used 40,000 miles in Los Angeles. People open doors onto things and so forth. And that's how life goes. And, um, what else? Uh, but otherwise, geez, the exterior just shines really nicely. Um, uh, just has a nice presentation. It's funny, I, I went to go look on the roof and kind of put a little bit of weight on the side of the roof and it was just waxed so nicely that it kind of slid off the car. Um, uh, the antenna has a little fine crack around it. It looks like it, at some point maybe somebody, you know, maybe when they're cleaning it or, or maybe at a car wash, something like that. Um, crack the, just the plastic cover on the high mount antenna. There is a, a metal uh, post antenna on here. Um, I think that's just the high frequency or the, um, the long range antenna. Um, the, uh, right on the very front of it, there's an ever so slight little, um, kind of, uh, I don't want to call it a divot, but a, uh, little ding, I guess, basically. I think someone basically when they were cleaning it, just kind of hit it and it just kind of tapped it. Again, you really have to be looking at it for it to, to be noticeable. Um, gosh, interior is just beautiful shape and everything just looks nice and feels nice and, um, yeah, not a lot to talk about as far as, uh, any inclinations in here. I mentioned the little, um, wear mark on the seat there. Um, whew, man, there's so much in this car to talk about. That's the thing. There's just so many little things and so many little pieces of trim, um, and little features. Um, it's kind of hard to, to, uh, to pick all of them out. Um, the one thing that I always love about Bentley's, um, I'll show you this real quick. These poles for the vent are just the most positive action, just life affirming kind of vent poles ever. I don't know, um, I don't know how to explain them otherwise, but geez, they, uh, they feel just so good. Like you, you know, like you're really opening and closing something. Um, what else? Uh, passenger side wheels have a few chips and scratches just from being curbed and, you know, David and his wife are, are, uh, you know, a little bit older and, uh, you know, these things happen and, uh, the driver's side looks, looks very nice. Um, what else can I say about it? I mean, gosh, it's an astronaut's Bentley, but not an astronaut's Bentley, an astronaut who landed on the moon and drove a buggy. I should keep this thing. Uh, that said, let me know any questions, any comments, super excited for it. Bring a trailer hat. Uh, this will be on BAT. Uh, if you're watching this, it's already on, but uh, it'll be coming to you guys soon. And, uh, you know, as always, uh, let me know whatever questions you have. There'll be um, some sneak previews of this if you're seeing, seeing it on YouTube on our website, wobcars.com. Um, and uh, we'll probably have some behind the scenes stuff on there too and some other photos of it coming up so you can get some more info on it. And, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, one other thing. This car just went through a full um, vacuum hose replacement. It's not cheap. It's a lot of work. Um, I think it's like 11 hours of billable time. Um, so $3,000 service, something like that, whatever it was. Um, the, the parts kit isn't bad, but every single vacuum hose was just replaced on the car. The car just went through service. Um, and uh, let's see, it's not due for service again until uh, August 11th for just an oil service. Anyway, look forward to the questions, look forward to the comments, um, and uh, I'll find every excuse I can to drive this in the meantime. So uh, look forward to it.